All right, y'all, welcome back. It's your boy, Jahan John Snow, and I'm back with some more boxing. I want to welcome all the viewers to the channel. Please subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, tap that subscribe button for me. Turn our notification bell on for the next video. All right, y'all, now check it out. Now, in my last videos that I talked about, Tank Davis and Theo, um, Theofima Lopez and Terrence Crawford, right? You know, basically, I made the video on Theo talking about these guys were monkeys. He called these guys monkeys, Tank Davis and um, Terrence Crawford, you know. And I was like, you know, they shouldn't even give him a fight, you know. I was like, you know, Tank Davis or Terrence Crawford shouldn't give him a fight after the statement that he said, you know. And I was really talking about. Any, you know, black athlete boxer, you know what I mean? But now I changed my mind, you know, now I changed my mind. I'm sitting here thinking like, you know, because this is how bad I want to see Tank Davis and Theofima Lopez fight. So I have to let it go. I have to let it go. And I changed my mind and I feel like Tank Davis should pick this fight up, you know, What's next for Tank Davis should be Theofima Lopez or Devin Haney. No question about it, right? But he want to bring these little guys up, these guys from 130 to 135, and then cap a rehydration clause on them, you know? And it's the same thing if he makes somebody come down to 140. I talked to I talked to y'all about this in, you know, in one of those videos when he was supposed to fight on um, Lomachenko. You know, what state strategy is, Tank Davis strategy. You know, um, little baby Mike Tyson out there being a weight bully. Bring these guys up to 130. And he had cap a rehydration clause on the smaller guy. Like, you can't get no bigger than this. Same thing, you know, with, with um, 140. He bring a guy down to 140, from 140 to 135. He's still going to have a, reject, a rehydration clause on him, you know. Um, dirty tactics, y'all. Dirty tactics, you know, in the game. It's smart. It's smart. But maybe that's the reason why he knocking these guys out. See, that's what sells. He want to get the knockout. That's what everybody want to see. Everybody going to be a fan of Tank Davis, even me, if he keep knocking these guys out, right? But when it's going to stop? When it's going to stop? Because you can be fight, Tank can be fighting at 140 right now. 135, 140 in between. Probably, probably, you know, 147. 135 to 147 in between. But like I said, it's all about what sells. And that's what they um that's what they um basically paying attention to, you know. Because bigger guys gonna probably give them problems. That's probably why he's staying away from Devin Haney. You know, but it's been reports he's gonna fight Lamont Roach next. But let me get back to me changing my mind. Tank Davis should be responsible fighting Theofima Lopez just because of what he said, just because of his racist statement. He, he, he come out and call you a monkey and you ain't respond and say nothing yet. Nothing. You put up this silly picture with you smiling with golds in your mouth. With a gorilla behind you, stupid gorilla pick, and he's smiling with the goals in his mouth, looking like looking like a light skinned little flip, you know. Terrence Crawford, you know, ran up on Theo, right? Ringside at the Canelo fight, poked them all in the face, poked them all in the face, you know. Gave him a little tap on his chin, right? 
little smacker on his chin. And that's why he came out and said what he said. Deal. That's why he said what he said. He probably wanted to say it right there. But he knew what was going to happen if he would have if he would have been racist in front of Terrence Crawford, you know, Terrence Crawford face. Terrence Crawford probably would have got booked that night. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying? Putting his hands on this this clown. So Tank Davis should either fight Theo, knock out Theo next, or fight Devin Haney. That's all that should be going on here. But he's ducking these dudes. That's what it looked like. He's ducking these dudes, man. All three of y'all ain't got no fighting open for a fight right now. So why he ain't making nothing happen with Devin Haney and Theo? Theo. 